Hi everyone! Kamusta kayo guys? Kamusta mga sisi ko dyan dyan? <laughs> yeah, today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys about my experience sa St. Luke's. Yeah, experience ko sa St. Luke's sa pag-medical ko doon using my Q1 visa. And yeah, I'm gonna share with you guys the requirements and the tips. Ganon, kasi as we all know na nakakaba talaga ang medical sa St. Luke's kasi nga narinig natin na diba, isputong, isputong, ganon but it's okay, laban lang talaga uy, ganon and yeah, mag-start na tayo ba? <laughs> May 9, nag-approve ang petition namin and then May 16, nag ano ako, nag-appointment ako ng medical ko and Nagbayad ako sa security bank. Yeah, ng like 16,225 that, that time. And then, pwede naman siyang magbayad sa loob ng St. Luke's. But for me, I prefer to do it at the security bank para hindi na hassle ba? Para hindi ka na magpila-pila dun sa St. Luke's. And then, yeah, I'm gonna share with you guys. Um, what are the requirements needed nila doon sa St. Luke's? Yeah. I take note here. Yeah. And then, the address pala, I will put it there down below. Char, ganun. Yung address niya is 1177 George Bocobo, St. Ermita, Manila. Yeah, ganun. And then, what to bring at St. Luke's? Ganun, Luke's. <laughs> Extension clinic. Ganun. First is your four pieces visa picture. Yeah, four pieces visa picture. Proof of payment. Yeah, you can pay it at Security Bank or at St. Luke's. And then the appointment confirmation from SLEC. And then two photocopies of valid passport by you page. Ang RTD ba ganun? Po, dalawang photocopy a valid passport by you page. Char, <laughs> And then, <laughs> two photocopies of vaccination records including COVID-19. Ganon. Yeah. I think, ngayon din, required siya. Yeah, I just heard it. Yeah. And then, your DS-160 confirmation and in NBC 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 <laughs> Lowy and busy letter, yeah, and then um, parong man tui and busy letter, then a screenshot of your ready status, yeah, a screenshot of your ready status, then the appointment letter from the U.S. Embassy. If you have me, I bring it that time because yeah, I received the mail, so I bring it, ganar. And if you have lang naman, you can bring it. Yeah, ganun. And then, that time na pumunta na ako doon, diba? Una kong um, ginawa is, nag-x-ray ako. Yeah, first ko is x-ray. Yeah, yung tip ko sa x-ray, guys, is huminga kayong malalim. Kasi all the people that I heard, ganun, English tayo, tiga, <laughs> English. Ano, sila, sinasabi talaga nila, hinga, hinga kang malalim. Kasi, um, para clear ka sa scan nila kasi napaka um, technology daw talaga ng x-ray nila, ganun. So, me, yeah, I do it myself too and I think it's um, real kasi, yeah, naranasan ko dyan, naranasan ako pa sa ako ba, ganun. But, yeah, just pray lang ba and more water, ganun. And then, that day also, yeah, that day also ng medical nyo, malalaman nyo kung nakapasa ka o hindi. Kasi if you are nakapasa, yeah, if you pass the exam, they are going to um, give you the white paper. And if you are not, yellow paper ba, but yeah, prayer lang talaga na ito ang ma-receive natin, di ba, yung puti, ganun. And then, if you pass this, yeah, if you pass, pass this, kung makapasa ka, um, today and on the next day, bibigyan nila yung brown envelope mo and then injectionan ka nila. Tapos, um, this CD, hindi mo siya dadalhin sa interview mo sa US Embassy Manila. Yeah, ito lang na papel yung sa nag-injection ka, ganun. And then, yeah, that's all sis. Yeah, it's so fast. Yeah, it's so fast. Kaya, 
laban lang para makapiling na natin ang magiging asawa natin. Ganon, ganon. And yeah, prayer lang ba? Kasi sobrang powerful ng pr prayer sis. Yeah, it's true. Ganon na everything will be okay. Yeah, laban lang talaga. Ganon. And yeah, that's all for my video today. And I hope na nakatulong tong pa video ko today. Yeah, char pa video video ko today. Yeah, pa char char. That's all for today, guys. Thank you for watching.